Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hey, you ever get worried that people are going to see all the plungers that you buy online to sell and flip? <laughs> Well, don't worry anymore. With NordVPN, all your data is safe behind a wall of next-gen encryption. And they've got a no-logs policy, so they don't track, collect, or share your private data. Like the total profit you collect from each plunger sold. It's a lot. Take advantage of an exclusive deal and celebrate Nord's 10-year anniversary. New users get a surprise gift when you sign up at NordVPN.com slash Game Grumps. It's not a plunger though, you gotta pay for those. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash gamegrumps or click the link in the description below. I bought 17 plungers in the last month and no one has to know. Last time on Game Grumps. <laughs> How could you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Phew. Uh, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. Nice, nice work, writers. So let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. Doesn't matter. <laughs> F it. <laughs> the monochroma file. If they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed By for the this way, crime. Do you like my little wooden doll of a dead girl? <laughs> it's just the the perspective of this shot is so like. <laughs> she just reaches her hand over and like grabs it. <laughs> it's like it's a popsicle. <laughs> 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 Cherry blossom flavor. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Ah. Hello. Uh, we are here. Um, it's the day after the Super Bowl. Um, oh, you alright, Aaron? No, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Can you put the thing? Put yes. The thing? It's the morning of the. It's the morning after the Super Bowl, and I wanted to share um, uh, this thing Ali sent us. It, it, it appears to be a post from Reddit from someone named Sneck26, um, and they they really summed it up. They were like, that's fucking football right there. None of that pansy-ass, dick-tugging, smile-for-the-camera bullshit. Men puke. Men poop on the field. Men deliver their <laughs> newborn baby on the sidelines. <laughs> fucking hardcore dick-in-the-ass, butterball, foosball, <laughs> fuck it, chuck it, game-time shit. Take it to the showers. Dicks get shoved in places you don't even remember. We win together, we celebrate together. Football's back, baby! <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what it's all about. It's like that guy Ben Meckler, who, who does those, like, when a movie's like, when there was a premiere for a movie. He's like a verified account, and he's like a real writer on shows and stuff. So, he always, when there's like a premiere, he always has like the first tweet out, and like, he always sandwiches some like absurd shit in the middle of like two really <laughs> generic statements. Where it's like, Star Wars Episode Nine was one of the greatest movies I ever saw, when Kylo finally took out his wiener and J.O'd all over the floor. I knew things were for real. Man, what a great movie that was. And then, like, the algorithms of, like, BuzzFeed and stuff, they just, like, find his oh, tweets and awesome. they always end up in, like, articles it's like, See what people are saying about <laughs> Star Wars! I love it. Oh, man, special... <laughs> special times. Um, okay, so, we're, we're back. Um, a lot of stuff's happened in the last... A uh, couple of minutes when we left off. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just thick black papers fold up. With the, oh, so he's just looked in the room. Yeah, Hyoko's dead. Ibuki's dead too. Although, I'm less sure about Ibuki because didn't didn't they say something oh, you think about she's it? not dead? Well, I don't know if she's dead or not. Like, I mean, she looks pretty dead. They implied that she has a twin. That's that's what throws me. Yeah. And like, given our experiences with um, uh, Saka Nakamura. I can't remember the name, but the 16 student. <laughs> Suck Nakamura! The, the 16 student hidden somewhere in this school. For, from the last game, th that makes me suspicious that there's something up with this one. Oh, yeah, I forgot um, about that. Also, she was, like, saying stuff twice. It, it would, j Ibuki was very weird this chapter before she died, so... Yeah. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, there's still stuff I have to examine, so I think I, they want me to talk to people. Okay, go so for maybe it. maybe I'll talk to Mikan, because she seems... Like she's going to pieces. Yeah. F you. F you. If only I knew it sooner, Ibuki must have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? The whole time. Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on call room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more 
Tim Fugazi! <laughs> Hick! <laughs> it's silly way to- Hey, I grew up in the south, but I'm a city boy now. <laughs> and, and so I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone, and I was like, she's gone! <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't wait to check it out. Ironically, I didn't have any patience. <laughs> 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 Just a little medical humor. <laughs> oh my god, she's dead! <laughs> so I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> yes! And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Huh? That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry! It's not like I doubt you or anything. But you're looking awfully suspicious right now. There's no way I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. We kissed! You're right. We were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right! Th that's right! We were together until a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. s s s s s s s I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. You are telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? Oh my god. If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. She seems like she's holding it together well. <laughs> what happened to not doubting me? Okay. Okay. So now I can leave? No. Nope. Fucking Christ. <laughs> what do you want? Like this. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe. <laughs> this is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuiko. Oh, that's that's the other thing that makes me think there might be a twin situation going on. Because isn't Ibuki supposed to be like the greatest musician of all time and yet she sucked? Well... In the game world, everybody was entranced, right? I mean, yeah, to us it sucked, but I think everyone else was like, that was awesome. Really? Yeah, right? Okay, I don't know. Am I wrong? Are you gonna look at me and tell me yeah. that I'm wrong? <laughs> <laughs> she performed on a stage, dog. <laughs> Yoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. <laughs> she came down on a rope and wore <laughs> she came down a down bag, on a rope, dog. dog. <laughs> And now those two are no longer here, her or the bag. Ah, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Bop, bop, bop. Sorry. Get a hold of yourself? She's like calmly talking while <laughs> no, Mikan no. was doing back <laughs> <laughs> Two of our friends were killed. You need to be more together, like Mikan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See? Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this place alone, right? We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Okay. It looks like only one's fallen. The other one's kind of like suspended. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Ah! Why'd you pull out your wiener? <laughs> 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 it's just what I do. Huh? What? Look what's in front of the door. His pupils are so small. My wiener. Uh, yeah, well. There's one pupil. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. They what? must have been playing super hard. What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, <laughs> you think it might be a really big clue? Oh, did they use the drumstick to try to, like, bar the door? Oh, yeah, it was locked when they showed oh, up. Oh, yeah. They had to, like, that's ba right. Bash it and it open. was smashed in, yeah. Why would this be a clue? Hey. Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, I'll fucking kill it! <laughs> the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be possible of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? And girls are weak! It doesn't matter if you can do it or not, we have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go. But wait! There's two girls! Go! <laughs> At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charge to the door in full force. Not the girls, though. They're weak! Anyway, let's move on. The door was locked and we tried to go inside and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open, excuse me. And this is the shape of the handle, see? Um, oh, okay. If a stick were used to bar the door here... Huh. Well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? 
<laughs> Don't you think? What venue doesn't have doors that lock? <laughs> you mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Even 7-Eleven, which is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, has locks on the doors. The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out? Huh? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have the windows, have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like... Maybe. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in the mystery dramas and stuff? Hmm. If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. All right, I'm definitely gonna find it. With my big hand! I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but... Stop. <laughs> I heard what you two were discussing! And... It was cool. Hmm. Bye! Smell my hand. <laughs> Does it smell weird? It smells like oranges. Ah! Why'd you put your hand in my face? That's the bit. Jockey, that was a cool, kind of cool entrance. You look kind of cool, Naruto. Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch. See? You're right. My glob! <laughs> Hold on! Somebody help me get my glob back into the jar! <laughs> it's escaping! <laughs> We're right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. My god! It's increasing! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite of it's reducing from the last playthrough. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger, licked it. Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. Numb! Why are you putting it in your mouth? Mm, I wanna die. <laughs> yeah. It smells like workshop chemicals. I don't know if we, will, we should kiss anymore. Yeah, you don't smell with your mouth. Workshop. And the chewing is... Definitely a toxin of some kind. <laughs> I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly into the gaps of the floor. I'm feeling faint. The door. Gaps of the door. Oh. What are you talking about? Pitu. <laughs> It's, it's, I have 40 minutes to live. Just as I thought. It tastes nasty. <laughs> yeah. Ja Jockey spit the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Presumably to the hospital. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? <laughs> glob. Okay, now can I leave? Okay. Alright, with this we might be close to finish investigating the music venue. But I still need to talk to Mekon. I need to make sure I get these autopsy results from her. And Mekon? <laughs> what about it, Mekon? Have you found out anything by now? She's just like in the fetal position in the corner. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. I, I did it wrong. <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. It's wrong. But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. I know, it's fire. <laughs> because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. I've been tweeting hashtag titty typhoon all day. <laughs> Puke crapla. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, I don't know, but you're on their friends list. You so. can't add me. I'm I'm private. That's ridiculous. All right, because of the heat, Not is that private possible? Enough to hide from puke crapla. <laughs> <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. What? Even if the scene is the killer is doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? Yeah, to get away with murder. <laughs> I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what other murders- order the murders occurred. First it was Ibuki, then Hyoko. <laughs> and- As long as this is an imitation murder? Okay. There shouldn't be I can't believe it's not murder! <laughs> <laughs> there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? Yes, it's less fattening and cheaper <laughs> than regular murder. <laughs> huh? You didn't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? 
It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killing. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. Just like now, I'm annoyed. <laughs> How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Because it's an imitation murder. That was the implication. Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That Santa movie. Claus 3, the escape class. <laughs> I believe Martin Short reprised his role as Jack Frost. <laughs> Good the assumption is that an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they... The goal was an imitation killer. The... What? Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie then it's possible that one more- wait, that one more person might have been killed. This, too, must be the will of causality. What the f- wait, that's a completely different line. It's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a sec! What movie are they talking about? What- I don't know yet. Okay. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> Are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries! Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious- uh, I'm a real cautious fellow. I've- so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. I'll kill them! Ahem. On this killing skull trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people! You mean you've added another rule? Yep. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't tell the killer that. <laughs> if killing everyone at once is okay, the blackened would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. This new will will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brain. He like gives away the killer. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sonia? She's like, um. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? <laughs> Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? If, let's say theoretically I was the killer. <laughs> And I killed a third person already! You know, would that person be in, like, super trouble, or just, like, <laughs> kinda trouble? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see, as expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this, but fuck it. <laughs> if two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Hey! So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. Then those two different people could kill two people. And then those two people could kill two people, right? And then there's a fractal of people gaily killing. That one. You ever heard The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell? He talks all about this. You should really read it. He's a genius. <laughs> that would mean the two killers exist at the same time. But we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two? Or four incidents to overlap one another? Or five? Or six? Sh sh shut up! It's okay. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Um, hey, meaning... By killing four or five people at a time. <laughs> Two killers can exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Bob, 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 bob. Yeah. Uh, all right, fine. Could you fine. keep it down, trash can Jimmy? <laughs> bob, 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 bob. Just bang on trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, you'd ha I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. <laughs> I should just shut up and go back to my cake. Yes, gamer brains are the best brains. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, yep that makes things a little easier. My gamer brain is overworked right now. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, your it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. <laughs> okay. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. Why do you? What do you guys mean by imitation? I think Gundam did it just by the sheer fact that he has so much dialogue in this case now. It's possible. And he never really had that much dialogue before this. 
Well, if it's skim milk, <laughs> I mean, a skim murder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, because, yeah, it, it would sort of make sense, because didn't he say, uh, I'll catch up with you later, I'm not going to the venue right now, oh. and that's when they broke in. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, can it be? Oh, he's the mastermind, and the hamsters were the killers. The four dark davis of destruction. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is pretty... You, you'd have to think that they will play some kind of role in something. Yeah, oh yeah. Ah, uh, KP, you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my. When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. Yeah, just like they copied the video game in the last one. What is so difficult about this? I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. Fucking hi! Hey! <laughs> then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? The feelings in my gut! You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Well, obviously, the movie theater. Stupid bastard. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've been keeping it in this whole time. I see. So you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late. I think. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. So, devote in two hours of your time. <laughs> and we're going to show the whole movie in the fucking game. Yeah. It's looks, critical. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Other people I want to murder. <laughs> Visit. <laughs> Where do you intend to go next, Shiaki? Probably the hospital for sure. There's other sick people there that I could murder. Okay. <laughs> she just breaks into song <laughs> to, to cover it. Murder uh, uh, in the 12 days of <laughs> Miss. Five golden things, four Cornish hens, three French dogs, two turtles, and a parsnip <laughs> in a large tree. <laughs> two turtles. <laughs> <laughs> the first victim of Buki was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. Remember that whole disease thing? That was weird. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I don't really care. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Boo boo doo boo. Oh, hi, Akane. I forgot you were here. Totally. <laughs> I'm over here. Bye. What's up? I'm probably going to punch somebody or whatever. Where would you like to go? Third island. Oops. No. I want to, uh, motel. Hotel, motel, Holiday, Holiday Inn. Inn. Who? Oh, I just, I wish I had like a recliner, you know? I wish I could, oh, this thing reclines. This shitty DX racer. Hey, location. that's no, nice. Oh, it actually is a DX racer. Recline. Ah, Oh, yeah. look at that. Look yeah. at that. Look how comfortable you look. Dude, I'm fucking... That's, oh, that's yeah, nice. I'm living life right now. Excellent. I just remembered I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. Who gives a fuck? It might be faster to just ask someone. Does Excuse that motel me. have the same sign as signage as a Waffle House? Yes. Cool. Dig it. That's how you know it's good. So you have appeared. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko staying in? <laughs> Listen well. L open the door to the center room. <laughs> there you will find your destiny. However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Probably exactly the same. Yeah. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? Explain what the fuck? What? <laughs> Why would you need another pair of underwear? 
<laughs> What's that? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? He told me the same thing. It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue, I killed Hioka. <laughs> <laughs> you met up with Mikan and me. And, and when we went back to the music venue, right. And when we ba went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. See, so we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. I'm assuming they thought people, like, took a break, turned off their PSP, went and did other shit, and then turned it back on and was like, what was happening again? Yeah. And they are like, we should have Fuyuhiko. <laughs> they said, remember we broke down the door! Yeah, that's what happens. Remember when we talked about breaking down the door, like, literally three minutes ago? And then we did it. That was fun. <laughs> this is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? God himself! Um, as I recall... Yes, praise him! Did you hear me? A body was found! A b b b b b b body Kiyo! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies, like Nagito, in order to confuse us all? A karate chop. Yes. Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Minomi. It's a great show. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? I suspect them of making out. Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Buki's body and when we broke down the door, right? Yes. So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That, that might be it, but... I... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on. She said Ibuki disappeared, she. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yes. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the Island? Yes, I saw M Hyoka. I slid her through. Oh no! <laughs> we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying that I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. Why? <laughs> that the time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Yoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. There's no way I could have slit her throat and watched her life bleed out from her eyes and then I and then I'd wrap her around plastic 17 times! <laughs> no more, no lash! <laughs> It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact that Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body... Excuse me. What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Me? Your best friend? <laughs> Fuyuhiko? Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. <laughs> Hmm. How many- <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. How, how long have we been on this island for? Like, three weeks. Why is everyone acting like everyone's their best friend of all time? Well, also, wouldn't his hair have grown out? Maybe a little. You know what I mean? Like, his yeah. little shave spots are still perfectly shaved. Yeah. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Okay. This is what I would look like with a tinier head. <laughs> Is it- should I go with it? Yeah. It's like I'm piloting a mech suit of myself! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll look inside. Yes. Clatter, clatter, clatter! Looks like it's locked and clattering, but... The key was inside mm. a kimono. Maybe if I use this... It worked! Mystery solved! Mm. It opened just as I thought. This key was Hyoko's room key. I oh. know who the murderer was! It was key! <laughs> no! You'll never take me alive! <laughs> She's like running away. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> After it! This <laughs> is going like one mile an yeah, hour. Yeah, like catch it super easily. Alright, let's go inside. I knew I should have grown legs from my big getaway. So Kyo Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but 
It smells like her. I feel a little conflicted. Boop. Oh, hey, Sonya. Where'd Hi, you come from? Um, huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put a key, the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. How'd she get in here? I think she came in after you, but oh. there's just no way for them to visually show that. I see. What? Did something happen? No, it is just... It is just... <laughs> so I'm, I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Alright, case closed. We're gonna kill you? Yeah. Her fault. What does she mean? I'll talk to her and find out. <laughs> The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? Yes, That's is what you. I would say if I had your voice. Yes. <laughs> However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in the room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in a room? She wasn't really farty, was she? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono. Um. It was really farty. <laughs> Yesterday I went to go talk to her. Her kimono was keeping her hostage. <laughs> it was like, don't open the door! Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. <sighs> and then I saw it. Her kimono. Her kimono was like coming off? Oh, okay. Does her leg... Go up to her neck? <laughs> What's happening? It's you. Oh, Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. So embarrassed that we'd eventually find out that she had the body of a pair of scissors, <laughs> a head with two giant legs attached. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. She was like, uh... The Fresno Nightwalkers. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the, the best scripted ever. <laughs> I'll show you a video. Thank you. <laughs> Mihiro is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. With the sash? No, with Mihiro's death, you idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from a hero. That Mihiro kindly taught her the basics. How would she have a sash on if she just learned how to tie it just now? I don't know. Stop questioning this game's logic. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mihiro taught her. I... <laughs> it would... The murderer probably must know how to tie a bow. Uh, not counting the one on my neck. <laughs> I, I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? I said, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and your stupid sash. I'm out of here. You can keep your fucking stupid sash, you piece of shit. Wow. Anyway, that's... I feel bad. <laughs> Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? No! <laughs> what are you saying? Of course I can do it. Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. It's a real cheery disposition for being like, yeah, flustered and crying. Yeah. Um, One more drawing would have been nice. If that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? How about you, you do it somewhere the where there's a mirror? The storage room at the music venue. If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> also. Shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. There's black mold. Um. <laughs> and that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be? Hyoko remembered that. Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Hmm, I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono? I can't imagine that. She was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident, or was someone listening into your conversation, or did you murder her? I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in our conversation. Nobody knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music vet? Literally, there's a camera, like, pointed right at her. Yeah, it's true. Nobody was listening! <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> She's also piloting herself as a giant mech! 
Alright, I guess... Oh, there's probably stuff I should examine here. Sink. Sink. There's a mirror, but it's too small and rusty and broken. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious except for the sombrero wearing Monokuma on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room. That's what that is. And I don't think she was forcibly abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. Buenos tardes, muchachos! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, bed. The bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. Alright. What else do we have here? That, that might be it. it. I'm out of here. Fuck it. See ya. Sonya, never mind. More like Sonya never minded to begin with. What? I never. <laughs> never paid her any mind. Okay. Um, Saved it. Saved it. I'm doing my best. Oh, wow, car. Hello. <laughs> a rundown, rusted, and rotting car abandoned. <laughs> rundown, rusted, rotting, out in the yard. <laughs> Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. No time for Ram Ranch. Looks, <laughs> looks like it's not a clue to the incident. Oh, okay. Well, then why the fuck is it here? And. And look edible. That's a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. I'm fucking out of here. I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> the hospitable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How come? Like, is Electric Avenue gonna be a thing? Or? Oh yeah. It's Yaki. Wow. I feel like I haven't been here in a while. It's been a while since I've been here. Even though it's only really been a few days, which is quite a while, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Oh, hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on, fuck, fuck. No, turn off, no, fuck. Fuck, okay. Uh, what did he say? Uh, didn't you get this from that shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Okay, great. I'm glad that, that they just addressed it as I questioned it. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Alright, can I just say something? Mm -hmm. So, th it seems to be a trend where we get frustrated about something, or question something, and then immediately the game is like, Haha, that thing. Yes. See, I remembered. But it's like, you shouldn't reach the point where you get frustrated enough to be like, Why are we doing this? Yeah. And then it's like, we're yeah. doing it this way. Yeah, it's true. It should flow. It does cross a line a little bit. I just wanted to say, because I imagine there are some people who are like, They keep doing it, and then the game tells them. It's like, yeah, well, I shouldn't get to the point where I'm like, Fucking stop! And then it stops. <laughs> Okay, fine, good. I get it. Yeah, I anyway, get where you're coming from. We're moving on. No, that's impossible. You're wrong. <laughs> Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. <laughs> you said the, unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't be able to communicate. So I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the second time he's told you that. Yes, exactly. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. One and two. <laughs> so even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. So we're literally broadcasting on the ones and twos. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right. You did work on that. I thought you were the ultimate mechanic, not mm. the ultimate engineer. <laughs> Electronics expert? That's strange. Devil-faced monstrosity? <laughs> <laughs> Number one. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. When did this get here? This is crazy. 
As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hi. Hi. Hey, Hachimi, there's something I want to ask you. Do you want to go out with me someday? Uh... People were killed, Chiaki. What the fuck? I'm I'm hoping for it. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? I'd like to see those two characters get together. Sorry, I just used my voice instead of. It's okay. But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? We could game together. Did you see something with this camera? That's right. We could lift together. We could make gains. <laughs> oh, I wanted. I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Like baking. Yeah, like what? <laughs> it should only be good for surveying. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, Hajime, do I look cute? Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit, but it didn't record, so I can't prove it. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were only just using candlelight. It was edgy as fuck. It seems pretty well lit. There was a hope rope. There was a there was a hope ranging. <laughs> there was a rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, person, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know it must have been Ibuki, red herring. She walked straight to the step ladder, and without any hesitation, she like grabbed it. She climbed that stepladder of her own free will. Sure, she wasn't influenced at all off camera. And then she grabbed the rope and... That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. The end. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have inf infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was really an old model. Ah! ah hold on! Well? At the time you said- Shh! Shut the fuck up for a second! <laughs> At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was Ibuki, right? Yeah. Well then it wasn't fucking Ibuki, dude! Wow. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed. All right. <laughs> what do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the step ladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. There's a little doubt. Some doubt. <laughs> if so. <laughs> hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. <laughs> Chucky, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. I'm heading over there now! <laughs> what the heck is going on around here? <laughs> she ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Is it because she wants to see the conference room? Also, I might just be overthinking, but... Did she seem a little upset? Why would she be upset? This is ridiculous! It's a chill environment, and she's super hard to read. <laughs> Jabberwock Hospital Puspable. Hey, Akane. Do you have things to say? Now then. Phew, I'm finally, I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. What? Okay. <laughs> She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. <laughs> She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey! Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you pl was she wearing one ever? I can't remember. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. The hospital is out of hospital equipment? <laughs> there weren't any gowns. Yeah, they're being all used by the aliens. No, that's right. There weren't any gowns? Yeah, yeah that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. And I ain't wearing that smelly shit. If I had no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on. 
what happened to the gown you were wearing. Huh? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. <laughs> well, what's grosser, wearing the one that you already wore or the wear that Nagito already My wore? question exactly. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. Okay, that's literally what the, the game was saying. <laughs> No time to dilly dally. I totally left my con back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Wait, 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 wait. What were you talking about about the touching your boobs thing? Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Okay, I guess I'll go into the patient's room. Looks like this is an open room. There shouldn't be anyone inside. I should look elsewhere. Because why would I go to a room where there's no one in there who could be tampering with evidence? Looks like it's okay. <laughs> Looks like it's blah blah blah. <laughs> Looks like it's blah blah blah. I should go upstairs, I guess? The conference room? Whoa! Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Is this new? Yeah, we've never been up here. Oh, damn. This is the radioactive room. Whoa. Oh, it's an MRI. Somebody's in there. Holy shit. Alright. Seriously. Conference room. I've never been in here. Was this always here? I don't know. Was I able to go here before? I feel like it must have been roped off. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Let alone pitch anything. <laughs> um, where's the switch? Don't turn it on. <gasps> huh? Chucky? Chucky, are you there? Yes. If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What? What's fully exposed? Hey, Hajime. If you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? What the fuck are you talking about? What? I'm so hot and confused. Aww. <laughs> oh, bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until I started adjusting to the light. It's a room. <laughs> and I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Yeah, it's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> Five golden things. <laughs> Four Cornish hens, three Good French dogs. hens, two turtles hens. And a parsnip <laughs> in a large tree. Surprised, I don't get it. Well, I got it. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> got what? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they're probably careful about light shining through. See? See? A black curtain that blocks light, it's, it's also perfect. It's also long enough to reach the floor, it's perfect. <laughs> a black, light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So, exactly. <laughs> so is something wrong with it? <laughs> yep, she's upset. <laughs> but still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing if I look and troll fail? Nope. I'm really, really losing faith in her ability to think clearly. Seriously. I just wanted to mess with you. Yup. She's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. Her gamer brain has taken too much today. <laughs> I should move on to a different place. And I guess we'll do it next time on Game Grumps, huh? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Some gamer shit. We're starting to get deep into this case now. Gamers. Gamers. You Gamer, know. gamer shit. You know gamer shit. Gamer. 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 I don't have to shit real bad, I just have to shit kind of normal bad.